Welcome back to our post-game show as Mike Joseph standing by with, I'm sure, a rather disappointed Coach Fran O'Hanlon. Here with Coach O'Hanlon. Coach, obviously you and I talked this a little bit. Uh, tough to score around the basket and you couldn't get a lot of stops. Yeah, well, they really got us in transition. It, something we talked about, you know, they, just that we're not used to playing against a team that's so fast up and down the court. And uh, they just pushed it on us, got layups, and then uh, we missed a lot. We missed foul shots, layups, and they didn't miss their foul shots or layups. And that's a good team. I mean, they've beaten Hofstra, they've beaten Fordham. Right. We knew coming in here, this is going to be a tough one. Yeah, and they uh, obviously you beat them last year, so a little revenge factor for them coming in. But you had some quality minutes for some of your young guys today. Yeah, well, you hope uh, you hope that that's going to play to our favor in the future. Uh, uh, but you know, we'll see. We'll see whether they they learn from this and come out with more aggression in the next game. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Hunter, come on in here. Hunter Janicek, Hunter, a, a career high for you today. Obviously, you'd rather trade it for a win, but some quality minutes for you. I think 27 minutes, your career high in minutes as well. Sir, it was a lot of, a lot of fun out there. Uh, you know, one thing I know about this group is, you know, we, we made some mistakes today, but we're going to come back, and Fred Hanlon's going to lead us to a win next game. Well, that, that's how I feel, too. It looks like you guys are at least, you're having fun out there. You're obviously not getting the results you want, but you're seeming to move the ball well. You guys are getting some open looks, and it's got to finish around the basket a little bit better. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a really talented team, and there's a lot to look forward to in the future. Great. Good to see you. Thanks again. Yes, sir. Thank you. you guys, obviously not the result that Fran wanted, but you can kind of see a work in progress. I saw five freshmen on the court at the end of the game. Back to you. There's plenty of them, Mike, and uh, Lafayette's going to have growing pains. I don't think there's any question that that's going to be the story of the season. And... Uh, Let's go through our highlights, and then I'll wrap things up. Here's John. We'll probably see some of those freshmen uh, as we move along. And uh, in the early going, it was uh, Paula Chalice working around the bucket. And then look at the spin move. Great move here by Austin Evans doing what he did. Lafayette hung around early on, mainly, mainly by doing this kind of thing around the bucket. They had an inside advantage, and Planuski went to work early. And then uh, good ball movement. Nick Lidner steps in with a three. When you can establish the inside, uh, then things are going to open up on the perimeter. There's our Coca-Cola player of the game, Hunter Janacek, with one of four of his threes. And Matt Klanuski again around the bucket doing a nice job going to work. Lafayette showed uh, flashes at times. Kyle Stout with a catch and shoot. Lafayette needs to be able to move the ball and do more of that sort of thing. Nick Lidner in transition, steps up, knocks down a three. And then again, Matt Klanuski running hard to the bucket. And the freshman, uh, Lucas Jarrett, following up. Look at the little dribble uh, and pull-up jump shot mid-range by Austin Evans, only a, a sophomore. Lucas Jarrett hit a couple from that baseline. He's got a nice soft touch. This isn't a replay. This is just another shot by Lucas Jarrett. Watch Miles Cherry on the inside. 6'8", left-handed, long arms, high basketball IQ. But in the end, it was really the defense and transition uh, from this talented Sacred Heart team, Gary, I think they are a sleeper in the Northeast Conference. Uh, you know, they can create uh, points with their defense. Uh, Boyevich right there can step away and shoot the ball. Look at the no-look pass. I thought Tucker was really their catalyst today. He did so many things so well. There's a teardrop down the lane. He got his share of points, but more than anything else, these guys were living off him. Lopez in the low post, Joseph Lopez with another good game, and uh, I'll tell you, they just kept going and getting the ball off the rim. Look at another pass by Tucker. That one to Davon Barnett for the finish. This kid, Hohen, gets to the rim, and then uh, Barnett finishes up again. They dominated the glass. Look at the uh, uh, creativity by Quincy McKnight. He finds Lopez. Another no look, and the finish by uh, Buovec again. And uh, Robinson this time from the perimeter. They share the ball well. They look for one another, a very good passing team. Hohen does a nice job. He's one of those kids that just kind of sneaks up on you. And look at the up and under that time by number 12. That was Sean Montague off the bench. Everybody who took the floor for the Pioneers today had something to say about this game. John just gave you a perfect microcosm of the way this ball game won. As you went, you take a look at the uh, team stats. Six players in double figures for Sacred Heart in this ball game as they were led by Joe Lopez, 14 points and 14 rebounds. Tucker, 12 points and seven assists. McKnight, 12. Hohen, 13. Boyevec with 13. And Robinson with a dozen. For Sacred Heart, 29 field goals on, and nine for 19 from beyond the arc, 18 for 26 from the free throw line. That's their 85 points as they now go to five and six 
on the season. For Lafayette, their 61 points came on 21 field goals, 9 for 18 from beyond the arc. Janacek was 4 for 8 from beyond the arc. Lafayette just 10 for 22 from the free throw line. That's 45%. Janacek with a career high dozen. Palace Jalice with 11 points and 9 rebounds. Nick Linder, interesting stat, just one assist in this ball game. And I don't know how many games you can go back to find him with less uh, than with only one assist in a basketball game. So Lafayette loses this one, 85 to 61. They'll take on their final exams this week. And we'll be back with you a week from Monday when they take on Moravian College at 7 o'clock. For Mike Joseph, John Leone, John Sabino, and the Lafayette Sports Network crew, we thank you so much for spending time with us. We'll see you next week. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.